Hey everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is day 8 of Diabetes Awareness, November 8th, 2018. I hope you're having a good day, and uh, I hope you checked out the first 7 videos about Diabetes Awareness on my channel. And uh, I hope you got a chance to take a look at the intro. Uh, but anyways, today's question is pretty basic, but very important in terms of diabetes, just like all of these questions are. So, here we go. Uh, number 8, what is hypoglycemia? Uh, how do you treat it and what does it feel like? Uh, what has been your worst hypoglycemic value? So, hypoglycemia uh, literally means uh, low sugar in the blood. If you break apart the words, hypo means low, glyce means sugar, and emia means in blood, so low sugar in blood. That's what hypoglycemia is. Well, how do you treat a low blood sugar? Well, if it means that your blood sugar is too low, you need to put more sugar in your body. So that means you have to treat it with some sort of what they call rapid acting carbohydrates. Um, some people use juice, um, glucose tablets, fruit snacks, fruit, uh, hard candies, regular soda, basically anything with like just pure sugar that will instantly be able to be converted to glucose and put right into your back into your bloodstream quickly is the best way to go. Um, the amount that you eat varies depending upon the person, but a standard rule is that you eat 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates to raise your blood sugar back to a safe and healthy level. So what is considered low blood sugar? What's the number that you kind of gauge? Well, uh, based upon like all the medical stuff, technically any blood sugar lower than 70 milligrams per deciliter, I'll put that in millimoles per liter here, is considered low blood sugar. Um, however, a lot of us diabetics will start feeling low at different numbers depending upon um, our bodies and how our body uh, responds to different environments. For me personally, I start feeling low at about 75 um, if I'm doing not really a lot, but if I'm doing a lot, I'll start feeling low at about 80. So, um, or I'll feel that my blood sugar is dropping because once you hit 80, it doesn't take long for you to get to 70. And once you've hit 70, it doesn't take for you, uh, to go below that 70 milligrams per deciliter threshold and be considered in a low blood sugar state. What does low blood sugar feel like? Well, there's a number of different symptoms your body can give you, but I will put out there that some people cannot feel their low blood sugars. They're asymptomatic. Um... This is more true for me if I wake up in the morning and my blood sugar is below 70. I haven't had it in a long time like that, but um, when I was honeymooning and stuff and when uh, I had kind of too much insulin in my body, when my pancreas was still kind of working for me, um, I would often wake up with blood sugars like in like 69, 68. I didn't really, really have any symptoms until I would poke my finger. Excuse me if you see shaking my cats kind of in the background. Um, I wouldn't really notice anything until I poked my finger and put it on the... Uh, the blood had done the test strip and put the test strip in the meter and it read lower than 70. And I'm going, I don't feel low, but typically the less active I am, it takes longer for me to feel the low blood sugars. Now, that might be true for some people. It might not be true for others. Some people feel their lows no matter what state they're in or how active they are. Some people um, don't feel their low blood sugars at all. Uh, some people feel them like me where you feel them more when you're active versus you don't really feel them a lot when you are um, aren't active. The only symptom I would get in the morning would be a headache. So, again, what does it feel like? Um, typically, people are going to be, uh, definitely have shakes. They're going to, the, the hands and the fingers are still shaking. Uh, speech can get slurred, depending on how bad the low is. You can get headaches, confusion, um, you get kind of klutzy and drop things sometimes. Um, you can get really hot and flushed. You can start getting sweaty, anxious. And a huge, huge symptom is that you are really got this hit a hunger that is kind of painful and immediate like you like almost like your body is saying I need sugar and I need it now I usually can tell the d this kind of hypoglycemic hunger I call it you know the hangry kind of feeling versus a hunger that's not based upon low blood sugar because my low blood sugar hunger is like intense and sharp and painful and the first thing when I feel that hunger the first thing that pops into my mind is eat a candy bar so then I usually know hey go check your blood sugar and see what level it's at um that being said, people can get varying symptoms. Um, typical symptoms for me are the shakiness, a little bit of sweating, uh, the extreme hunger, um, being a little bit irritated and moody, and I tend to be kind of klutzy. Um, just because you're kind of shaky, uh, your body wants more sugar uh, for energy, so therefore you're going to kind of be unable to perform certain um, 
gross or fine motor skill tasks. And my worst hypoglycemic value isn't as low as um, some diabetics have gone through, but uh, I haven't really had a low blood sugar in over a month, like below 70. The lowest blood sugar I've had since um, like the middle of September. Um, just recently I had a 76, but I, that wasn't even really that low. I didn't feel low. So uh, anyways, um, my lowest uh, blood sugar value was 51 milligrams per deciliter. I'll put that here in millimoles per liter. Um, some people can get really bad and get into the 30s and the 40s and they get really, you know, like I said, they get kind of like disoriented and they can even get to the point where um, they can pass out from a low blood sugar. They're, low blood sugars are dangerous. You don't want to mess around with them. As soon as you find out you're low, you better quickly, quickly, quickly get some sugar in your body or what can happen is so many other things. You could pass out, have a seizure, go unconscious. It's kind of like the high blood sugars with diabetic ketoacidosis. However, with low blood sugar, once you're low, it only keeps dropping from there. You can't really stop the progression. It's much more quick, it, quick the onset of potentially passing out and having risk of death and, and a coma, uh, if that makes sense. Um, at 51 milligrams per deciliter at my lowest, I was really shaky. Um, I actually had dropped my phone, had a good grip on it, and my phone just like dropped. I was klutzy, I almost tripped. My knees kind of started getting jello -y like and then my face just started turning red and I kind of got this weird kind of hot to cold sweat and I'm going, something's wrong. So then I checked my blood sugar, it was 51. Uh, turns out I was in my honeymoon phase in that period. I had lots of blood sugars that were in the upper 50s and 60s a lot with um, my honeymoon, but none as low as that low 51, almost to the 40s. That was very scary. I didn't like it. It actually took me a couple times to get it up. I think the first time I got it up, I got it back up to like 71, and I still, because my meal was over um, like 40 minutes away, I wanted to make sure it was higher than that, so I had to do it twice, and I ended up getting it back up to like 111 or something like that. So, anyways. I think this sums up what hypoglycemia is. Uh, tomorrow's video, you're gonna get more into depth about uh, what, how to react and what is important to do in severe hypoglycemia, like to the point where uh, a diabetic patient like myself would be passed out. So uh, until tomorrow's video, I hope this helped you understand a little bit what low blood sugar is about. Um, if you're a diabetic or non-diabetic or newly diagnosed, I hope this sheds light on it. Um, anyways, until then, uh, take care. God bless. Hope this helped. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, Stay strong, all you diabetics out there. I hope your blood sugars are good. Um, I will see you in tomorrow's video for day number nine of Diabetes Awareness. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.